a gym that would send you to a restaurant chain of your choice? Uh, all right, there's a spot I've been going to recently called Coreanos. It's a Mexican and Korean fusion. Fire, fire. So, like, <clears throat> if I was to, you know what I'm saying, take over and do a little jingle. Coreano, Coreano, we got burritos and we got tacos. Coreano, Coreano, got fried chicken, rice, and the tacos. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, give me some free food. <laughs> What's your earliest memory of music? The artist, the song, and your reaction to it? It was me and my two older brothers. Um, so he called, like, called these girls. They were pretty, pretty cute, whatever. And they were like, oh, sing for me, da da da. And we was listening to, like, Marcus Houston, like, Mario back then. That was, like, when, oh, and I think, what was that? Oh, Naked came out. <clears throat> Smashes. Had some hits on there. So like we was like taking turns, like singing, and they were like rating us and like seeing who who sang better. And like I always won. They always got mad at me. I got punched. But like that's when I was like, hey, I can sing kind of. Yo, yo. <laughs> if you had the chance to hack someone's Twitter account to post anything that you wanted, who would you choose and what would you post? <laughs> yo, that's kind of easy. I, oh, I would create an account by Frank Ocean. And then just shout me out real quick. And then the rest will just fall into place. <laughs> Very effective. You can only choose one to eliminate. Music, television, phone, or computer. TV, gone. TV, gone. I barely watch TV, so. And I got internet, so like Netflix and like streaming services are a thing, so. TV that beat. TV that beat. <laughs> if you became a billionaire overnight and you could only buy things that start with the first letter of your name, what would you buy? Damn, that's a good question. <laughs> I could spice it up. I would I would buy a playa. That's a beach, right? It's a beach, you know what I'm saying? I'd probably damn, like maybe I'd buy the pistons, I guess. Are they even are they even good? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um damn. I guess I ain't buying much. <laughs> like, damn. I gotta think about that one. Damn. You wanna try with notebook? Oh yeah, I try with notebook. All right. Um, I'd buy, I'd buy a good Nissan. I'd buy a a brand of notebooks. Like, they're my own line. So like, you know, better paper. You know what I'm saying? Comes with pens and stuff. A whole collection. <laughs> If you met your biggest crush and they wanted you to give them your best pickup line, but you have to sing it to them, what would it be? Damn, I was so terrible at pickup lines. I'm trying to remember what I did. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me think. Uh -oh. Baby, 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 baby. Did you fall from heaven? Did it hurt? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hopefully that works. <laughs> Tell us a funny moment you've had while on stage or in the studio. Right, I'll give you two. Um, one of them is kind of embarrassing. Um, studio moment. Uh, I was I was doing a little take. It was it was a pretty serious song, <laughs> and it was a high note that I knew in my head. I haven't really practiced that much. So I was like, all right, I could just try it in the studio. But then when it was coming to that part, I was like, damn, can I even hit this? And then when I went for it, it was just, it just wasn't. If the note was here, it was like right here. And it was just bad. And like my friend Demars looked at me like, and I was like, yeah, no, I know, I know. Just, just run it back. <laughs> and then um, on stage, so I don't like usually do like, I'm about to air myself out. <laughs> I don't usually do like club-esque like performances, but you know, my homie hit me up like, yo, do this lounge show for me. I was like, all right. <laughs> Went there, I was cooling. He gave me a little drink ticket. So I was like, yo, two shots, cooling. I'll be good. It'll be a smooth night that I can drink after. Met some friends I haven't seen in a while. They were like, yo, let me buy you a drink. I was like, okay, we was talking, chit-chat, I'm drinking. 
I am faded. <laughs> They're like, yo, no book P, go up. And I'm like, oh shit, I forgot. I had to do this. <laughs> so I grab the mic, they introduce me. I don't have to introduce myself. They throw on the beat and the whole time the beat's on, I'm like, damn, what are the words? And I vividly remember it doing the last song and not the first two <laughs> never again <laughs> give us three of your favorite dances from the early 2000s crank that show that that's that's yeah, in there boy i did it wrong damn <laughs> you know you you know yeah um Oh, and Sierra did like the Matrix. That was a move. <laughs> that was a move for a little while. That was fire. Everyone was doing that. Um, oh, I'm gonna take it back. Niggas don't remember this. The Aunt Jackie. Niggas was doing that. I was like, hey. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the chicken noodle soup. I asked for one three, but like, yeah. <laughs> if you were visiting Cuba and got lost and you could not find anyone who speaks English, how would you ask for directions to your hotel? Well, let me find the words. I know a little Spanish. Um, uh, don, donde, donde es a hotel? Por favor, hotel. Uh, duerme, duerme, is that sleep? Yo. Yeah, somewhere along those lines. I just, hopefully they just know what I'm talking about or they just speak English like, yeah, bro, you tried. Uh, I don't care what you say or how you feel. I'm gonna say what I have to say and you're gonna listen and accept it because I'm never wrong. What zodiac sign am I? That's a Taurus or a Libra. That's a Taurus or a Libra. Y'all are... I'm not gonna say it. But y'all, yeah, that's y'all. <laughs> that's y'all. That's y'all. <laughs> Which character from a movie or TV show made you want to put hands on them for the role they played? Yo, so... I recently saw Judas and the Black Messiah. And it's not even like, it's not even like the guy's character, it's the actor himself, cause he's so good at playing like an unlikable person. Like I wanna hit him myself. Like, like how are you that good bro? You must be an asshole for real. Cause yeah bro, like I don't even know his name, but you know it's this the white cop that like, you know, I don't wanna spoil nothing, but it's the, the white cop that everyone's gonna hate by the end of the movie. <laughs> What is one thing that you would say is the most spontaneous thing you have done? I can't show it right now because I got, got sweats on, but I got this Astro Boy tattoo, like just out the blue, because two of my friends are about to get tattoos, and I was like, damn, I kind of want one too. <laughs> I can afford one, I, could, I might as well just get one. I was like, damn, what would I get though? I was like, hmm, I always want an Astro Boy tattoo, but I was like, damn, where would I put it? I was like, hmm. I like sh I like short shorts, so you know I can show off a little tattoo and a little knee. So I put it right there, <laughs> and bam, impulse. <laughs> if you could snap your finger and anything would appear except money, what would you choose? Land and a car, a house. You know, what I'm saying the whole works just all paid off. It doesn't have to do with anything to do with money. It's just already paid off. Bam, got it. And then. A studio or something. <laughs> What's the number one excuse you give people when you don't want to do something? <laughs> Damn, I don't want to say it because I don't even want to use it anymore. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I'm gonna give one of my excuses away. Yeah, man, my mom got me doing all this crazy shit right now. She got me running around, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you like I'm gonna hit you in a little bit. I'll give you <laughs> I'll give you ETA then. And that's just because I need some time <laughs> to get things together. Blame it on mom. Blame it on mom. <laughs> what is the trend that's happening now that irks your nerves? All them, every single TikTok dance, every single one. Not a single one of them has been. The only one that's been cool is the the, the K Camp one. You know, the, the two little black girls. Cause you know they got called out for people stealing it. That was cool. That was fun. After that, everyone was just doing the same shit. It was like, bro, no one's dancing anymore. It just, I can't. No one can learn that shit. Like no one can learn that, bro. You have to be like ten or younger to learn that shit. And if you're any older, 
you're not doing it right. <laughs> and then it just looks weird, bro. Like, I don't know. It's not dancing. Stop. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yo, like, bro, what the hell are you doing, bro? Like, at least have like a flag or like something twirling, like something. Like, you're just sitting there, like, that like, really looks stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My humble opinion. <laughs> What are some movies or TV shows that you have not seen that can get your black power vote? I haven't seen Love Jones. <laughs> Yo, I know I was too young. I'm sorry. Can't blame me. <laughs> um, <laughs> is it like Best Man or like Best f something? It has something to do with like marriage. Oh, the Best Man. The Best Man. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I didn't see that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe that'd get my shirt vote. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Damn. Yeah. See. Damn. My bad, guys. <laughs> Yo, put me on, dog. <laughs> what are some food combinations you put together that others might not find tasty? Okay. So, don't look at me weird. I don't judge, so don't judge. Hot dog. When you do have it, it's only in the summer. I know there's a whole glizzy thing going on, but summertime, you know what I'm saying, the cookout, grab a hot dog. It's okay to put a little mayonnaise on the bread. Just, no, no one's saying put as much mayonnaise as you put ketchup or mustard or anything else. Relax. <laughs> That's for other kinds of people. <laughs> You put it on like you like butter, you butter it with a little mayonnaise, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Throw, throw the dog on, and then you throw a little barbecue sauce on. Sweet baby rays, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna get specific, you know what I'm saying? We can grab the spicy chipotle one. That's, I put you on, I put you on. It's not a dry hot dog, you know what I'm saying? It's flavorful. Better than ketchup, ketchup's mad plain, grow up. <laughs> it's okay, bro. Let it go. <laughs> Alright, bro. You heard it from me. It's not that weird. If you don't like minis, it's whatever. But try the barbecue sauce at least. Come up with a jingle and send it to a restaurant chain of your choice. Uh, Alright, this is a spot I've been going to recently called Coreanos. It's a Mexican and Korean fusion. Fire, fire. So like, <clears throat> if I was to, you know what I'm saying, take over and do a little jingle. Coreano, Coreano, we got burritos and we got tacos. Coreanos, Coreanos, got fried chicken, rice in the tacos. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, yo, give me some free food. <laughs> if you had to delete every app on your phone except one, which app would you keep and why? Oh, damn, that's hard. It'd literally be, di be down to my notes app and Twitter, because <laughs> Twitter is just comedy and it's current events and news. It's everything that everyone needs in one. <clears throat> Sometimes it's too much, it's toxic as hell, but entertainment. But you know, the notes, I'd be writing all my music in there. And, like, it's easier than writing all the time. You can't have a notebook. But. Okay, I'll stick to notes. I'll keep the notes. I'll keep the notes. Twitter's toxic. <laughs> what song do you have to sing along to every time it comes on? Oh, bullshit. It's every single time. Um, um, it's the major move, baby. No, no, no. You get, either get with it or get lost. You, um, oh, uh, Lloyd and, and Lil Wayne. Every time that song comes on if you're not singing bro get out the car get out the house get out wherever the hell you, you can't you don't belong there you better sing every single word bro stop wait a minute <laughs> bro if you're not singing that bro get out bro no for real for real get out <laughs> uh you can show your talent or you can speak your piece but you have 30 seconds to sell yourself as an artist 
It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Hey, hey. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I can sing and dance. <laughs> something about you no one would believe if you told them i hate watermelon but that's like i feel like typical people i hate pickles pickles aren't good they're not supposed to be good <laughs> i don't argue with me please I, I i believe that humans are aliens ah, no one will believe that <laughs> i guess Hip hop or R and B? R and B. Oatmeal or grits? Can I say neither? <laughs> grits. I'll say grits. Nineties or two thousands? Two thousands. Next tail or sidekicks? Sidekicks. Macaroni salad or potato salad? Mm, my mom's macaroni potato salad. I mean macaroni salad, but in general potato salad. Saved by the Bell or a different world? A different world. Sweet or sour? Mm, sour. Chris Brown or Usher? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Coke or Pepsi? Oh, uh, <laughs> Pepsi. New edition or new pick on the block? New edition. Daniel Caesar or Khalid? I'm sorry, I don't like Khalid. <laughs> Daniel Caesar. Gabrielle Union or Megan Good? Megan Good. Sorry, Gabby. <laughs> Singing public or dancing public? Uh, sing in public. <laughs> Fries or tater tots? <clears throat> it's controversial, but I'd, if we're talking best case, like best version fries and best version tater tots, tater tots are winning, bro. Like, you can't, you can't argue that. You can't argue that. Because when people complain about tater tots, it's always because they're all crumbly and fucked up. It's because they're not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kevin Hart or Cat Williams? Cat Williams. White liquor or dark liquor? Hennessy. <laughs> Matching or mismatched socks? <laughs> Hopefully they saw that as mismatched. <laughs> Silent but deadly or loud but harmless? <laughs> Silent but deadly, I can blame someone else. <laughs> Simpsons. Basketball or football? Basketball. Trump or Bush? Do I have to pick? <laughs> <sighs> Times are simpler <laughs> and I didn't know nothing when Bush is around, so <laughs> I guess. I'm sorry. <laughs> they're not they're not good choices. <laughs> Michael Jackson or Prince? Damn. This is this is hard. Cause I grew to like Prince a lot. Mike Jack wins though, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> Honestly, I never heard of that until Twitter started throwing on the TL. So I don't, I don't think that's real. But like, <laughs> I don't know. I never, nah, not for me. Know everything or have everything? I'll have everything because I'll go crazy if I know everything. <laughs> Fresh Prince or Martin? Fresh Prince, yo. Spring or fall? Mm, I like fall better. It's too much rain in spring. Biggie or Tupac? Biggie. Blue Doritos or red? Blue, I hate nacho. <laughs> Jagged Edge or Boyz II Men? Damn. Boyz II Men. Pancakes or waffles? I really grew out of pancakes, waffles. Flats or drums? I like, I, I don't know, I don't discriminate <laughs> if we're talking <laughs> flats or drums. <laughs> I'll take either, bro. Just throw them both at me. Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation. Alicia Keys or John Legend? Hmm, that's a good question. Damn. John Legend. We were just inside the maze on 21 questions with no big P. Now we're getting out the maze. Thank you for having me. That rhymed. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at notebook.p. Twitter if you feel like it. Notebook P, all one word, but there's three O's in notebook because I couldn't get the regular version. And I, I, I just got on TikTok. I ain't really 
but like it's just not for pee in a normal way like because normal 